I like t television shows which are funny and uh, which also kind of show what it's like to be slightly uh, an outsider in a different culture. And there was a television show from the 1980s, I think, called Third Rock from the Sun with John Lithgow. And it's about aliens who have arrive in an American town. They look like Americans, but they just don't understand a lot of what's going on. And it's very funny, these kind of cultural problems they have. So I think as a learner, that could be kind of amusing and it's not difficult. I think the best, one of the really, really good idea for students who want to learn English in their own free time is to look at situation comedies or sitcoms from the old classic like Friends to a newer version, for example, like 30 Rock. Situation comedies are really useful because they are cultural. They give you some cultural ideas about, you know, in the US or wherever the situation comedy is based. They're also current, contemporary, and they are very good because they're quite evident, so it's not so difficult. Anybody with the level, for example, intermediate level upwards can understand the situation without having to understand all the words. Plus, they're good fun. The thing uh, that uh, I would like to talk about is uh, a TV series called The Office, uh, which I opened for myself very recently. Um, this is a British uh, comedy uh, written and directed by and played actually uh, by Ricky Gervais who is a very popular comedian at the moment, very controversial figure but I'm not a native speaker uh, but for advanced uh, learners I, I would highly recommend this because they, they're using the, the real language uh, lots of slang lots of uh, phrasal verbs whatever it is so it's very very useful from from the learners perspective myself as a language learner in French I find watching the news the best thing for acquiring language first of all you probably watch the news in your own language you know what's going on you kind of know the information beforehand, maybe you've even watched the news in your own language, and then to go and watch it in English, for example on the BBC or any English language news channel, so you know, CNN if you want American English, it doesn't matter, um, you kind of know what they're talking about, so the images in this case are helping you understand, they're not too distracting, uh, you've got little snippets of information in the little subtitles that they use every now and again, uh, and you can also watch it again, of course, if you go online, so you can watch the news several times. So for me, it's the news, every day. If it's a TV show you love and like, watch it. Uh, in the 1990s or noughties, you know, Friends was a huge show that people from all over the world watched in English. And why did they watch it and why did they learn English? Because they liked it and they got the jokes and it was funny. People still watch uh, a TV comedy series from the 1970s or 80s called Faulty Towers uh, because it's still funny, even though it's very old-fashioned and it's easy to understand. Um, I, it's very difficult to say. Whatever is something that you want to watch, then you watch it and try and work out what it means. And if you can't really understand what it means, go on the internet and find discussions about what it's all about and then watch it again and then watch it again and then watch it again. Okay.